Nin explains the rules of XFL football. The object of the game is for your team to score more points than the opposing team. The XFL is a new American football league with modified rules that is played with teams of 52 players with 11 players taking to the field at any one time. The field is 100 yards long by 53 yards wide with two 10 yard end zones at each end. White markings on the field helps players, referees and spectators keep a track of what's going on. The game starts with a kickoff, but unlike normal American football, teams stand five yards apart at the 35 yard line. Once the ball is kicked, nobody can move until the receiver catches the ball. This opens up space for the player to run with the ball. The team with possession of the ball is known as the offense and the team without the ball is the defense. The job of the offense is to move the ball up the field and score points. This can be done by either running forwards with the ball or by throwing it up the field for a teammate to catch. The offense is given four chances or four downs to make at least 10 yards. If the offense manages to move the ball 10 yards or more, they will retain possession of the ball whilst given another four downs to make another 10 yards. On your TV screen, you'll see this graphic. This tells you what down the team is on and this tells you how many yards they need to make. If you're also watching this on TV, they'll also show you the line that they start from, known as the line of scrimmage, and the line they need to cross in order to make their downs. Unique to the XFL, two forward passes are allowed behind the line of scrimmage as opposed to just one in American football. The defense's job is to stop the offense moving the ball forwards by tackling. This includes pulling them to the ground, stopping them from moving forward, or forcing them off the field. If the offense fails to move the ball 10 yards within four downs, the ball is given to the defending team at that point. The defending team will bring on their offensive players and try and move the ball in the opposite direction so that they can score. You'll most likely see an offense kick the ball away on fourth down, known as a punt, to make it more difficult for the other team to score. However, bad punting in the XFL is punished, and on punts that go out of bounds, the receiving team gets the ball at their own 35 yard line or where the ball left the field, whichever is closer to the goal line. Teams will usually have three different units of 11 players that come on the field at different times. They include the offense. These players will usually come on the field when they have possession of the ball. The offensive unit consists of these positions. The quarterback is the most important player on the field, as he's the one who decides to pass the ball up the field, hands it off to a teammate so that they can run with it, or decide to run with it himself. These offensive line positions are usually responsible for protecting the quarterback. The wide receivers are responsible for running down the field to catch the ball thrown by the quarterback, and the running back is responsible for running with the ball up the field. The defense. These players will usually come on the field when the other team has the ball. The defensive unit consists of these positions. The defensive line is responsible for moving past the offensive line. The linebackers stop running backs coming through the defensive line and they're also responsible for attacking the quarterback. The cornerbacks try and stop the wide receivers and the safeties try and stop the pass up the middle of the field. Special teams. Special teams are specialist players that come on the field when there's a kick involved. Within the special teams is a mixture of offensive and defensive players mixed with either a punter or kicker for offense or a punt returner for defense. Now you know what all the players do and how the game is played, but how do you score? In American football, there's four different ways of scoring. Number one, touchdown. The main way of scoring is via a touchdown. If the ball is carried into the end zone area or thrown and caught in the end zone, this is a touchdown and is worth six points. Unlike in rugby, you don't need to touch the ball down onto the ground. All you have to do is cross the line with the nose of the ball to score. Number two, extra points. Unique to the XFL, once a touchdown has been scored, you do not kick through the uprights for extra points. Instead, you have the chance of passing or running with the ball into the end zone again for some extra points. One extra point from your own two yard line, two extra points from your own five yard line, and three extra points from the 10 yard line. 
Be wary though, as the opposing team can grab the ball and run towards the opposing end zone for the same score. Number 3. Field Goal At any time, the team with the ball can kick the ball between the posts and over the crossbar. To do this, they must hand it to a teammate who will hold it onto the ground ready for the kicker to make the kick. A successful kick scores 3 points. Number 4. Safety If the defense tackles an offensive player behind his own goal line, the defending team scores 2 points. The game is played in 4 15-minute quarters for a combined playing time of 60 minutes. High score at the end of time wins. If the game is tied in the XFL, a shootout is used to determine the winner. Both teams will be given 5 chances to pass or run the ball into the end zone from the 5-yard line. Each successful conversion scores 2 points and the team with the highest total after 5 rounds wins. If still tied, sudden death attempts will be used to determine the winner. So why is this different to normal American football? The XFL was created as an alternative to regular American football. It's largely the same game, but the differences in rules are to eliminate some of the more redundant aspects of traditional American football. The game is still filled with lots of other rules, and you'll need to understand a few more of them before you watch or play a game. For example, Fumble If a ball carrier or passer drops the ball, that's a fumble. Any player on the field can recover the ball by diving on it or he can run with it. The team that recovers a fumble gets possession of the ball. Interception An aggressive defense can regain possession of the ball by catching or intercepting passes that are meant for players on the other team. Both fumble recoveries and interceptions can be run back into the end zone for touchdowns. Sack If the defense tackles a quarterback whilst he has possession of the ball, this is known as a sack. This is detrimental to the offense as a down is wasted and it usually results in a loss of yards. Incomplete Pass If a pass intended to a receiver hits the ground first, it is ruled an incomplete pass. A down is wasted and play restarts from the spot of last down. Penalty If a player breaks one of the rules, referees will throw flags onto the field. They will determine who made the foul and how many yards his team should be penalized. Timeouts if a team wants to stop the clock to regroup, take a break or discuss strategy, they are allowed two timeouts per half. Each timeout lasts 60 seconds and players get a break of 10 minutes at half time. This is a lot to take in but once you start playing or watching XFL football, the rules will become clear. If you found this video to be helpful, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things and good karma is very much appreciated. If you want to know more about the other kinds of American football, check out my tutorial videos here. Be sure to follow me on Twitter also and share this video on Reddit, but in the meantime, enjoy XFL football.